Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get your Arc PS4 server set up in minutes. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. Yo, what's going on, guys? I'm Jay Carter Ray from ArcPS4Servers.com, teaching you how to be better. And this is a, uh, an update video to a video that I previously did because Nitrado have updated their interface and I've updated the store on my website. Let's go over to Nitrado's web interface. As you can see, now they've got numbers on the side to make it much more easy for you to find your code and edit your code. Now, what this has done is the PDF download files that usually come with the, the downloads on my website, they no longer copy and paste the code correctly. So I've included text files with the downloads instead. I may actually remove the PDF files altogether. The only reason I didn't remove the PDF files before is because I had videos that walked you through how to use the PDF files. So I wanted to keep that there so you wouldn't be confused when you, you got your download and there was no PDF file. And the PDF file looks pretty professional compared to just the text file. But the text file, the text files work they're easier to copy and you can just get your your code set up in way less time to be honest because with the pdf file you kind of got to scroll down with the text file you just click in there you press Control a and then you've got everything and then you just press Control v if you're using a pc in the code area and then bob's your uncle what you're set up so i'm going to quickly walk you through the process of how to get your code how to paste it in your expert settings and how to get set up so if you want to get your server set up asap really really quick that this is the way to do it go to arcps4servers.com come to shop you can either go to download game any codes or you can go down here and go to download a game any file or you can just go to arcps4servers.com forward slash settings that'll probably be the easiest way and that will just come straight to here so on this page you'll be able to scroll down and you can basically pick what you want to download now we're going to download jcart array server codes these are the codes that i'm currently using on my arc server cluster and in order to do that, you can click this button here that says download now. This will bring up a window where you can enter your email, your well, your email, your name, your card number, and then you know you can click this to be sent free tutorials and discount offers for your next purchase. And basically you can pay via your credit card or you can pay via PayPal, and then you'll just pay and then it will just be downloaded ASAP. Or if you want more information, you want to kind of know what's going on with these server codes, you want more information on the rates that will be on your server, then you can click view more info. This will bring you to a page where you can view more info. And then you can just read all this, you can scroll down, and you'll see all the rates that you'll get on your arc server here, are the main rates, here, are the breeding rates, here, are the extra rates and info. And then you just use this. And then you can just click click here to get your arc server set up in minutes or you can click down here or you can click all the way up here and then this will bring up that pay window again and then you just enter your details and as soon as you do that your download will be available i'll show you how to do that now so here we have our name our email and we have clicked this subscribe to be free tutorials offers everything's all set up we'll go to continue and here we have our downloads. As I said before, I may just get rid of the PDF altogether so that it doesn't confuse people because I've seen that that's basically what it's doing because it's there, but it doesn't seem to be fully working with the Nitrado interface. So I'll probably just get rid of that and just only have the text file there. So I do have this readme file that will walk you through the process as well. If you neglected to watch this video, it probably directed you back to this video so you could check it out and then just go to download all and allow that and it will download all your files down here. 
and then you'll be able to open it up you open up this readme file or you can open up this text file we're not going to open up the readme file right now because I, I do have to change it because now there's no p there's no pdf included so i'll need to change the wording but we can open this text file and when you open this text file this is what you'll get all these settings and it'll clearly say game user any and if you go down you'll see game any so first of all to get to expert settings if you haven't activated already you want to go to settings which is on the left hand side you go to general and then click this tick to enable expert mode then you want to save changes that will refresh the page and then expert mode will be enabled and then this will pop up on the left expert settings then you just want to click that and that will take you to the game user settings dot any file and that is how you get to here and if you want to change to the game any file you just click up here and then you go to game any and then you used to have to load it but it seems like nitrado is just loading it automatically and then that will take you to the game any file so that's how you access expert settings and do all that sort of stuff so what you want to do is you want to copy from here script shoot a game all the way down to script shooter game mode and then you want to just control and see that or command and see if you're working on a mac and then you want to paste that in your game user any so we'll control all and then control v and that will paste everything here everything's in the correct place and obviously you put your server name here you put your number of player slots here you put your admin password here you put another password here if you want your server to be password protected and just fill in all the blanks where it says put your your thing here put your server message here and all that sort of stuff we're not going to save right now because that will you know mess up the server but we're going to go to the game any now which is the next place where we need to go and let's open up that text file again and now with the game any you just want to copy from script shoot a game all the way down all the way down to the bottom then we'll do control and c and then we'll come in here we'll do control and a then control and v and that has pasted all our dl's and everything Will be working correctly you want to see this this is like level ramp overrides it's going all the way across it's not breaking up and going down the lines this is how it's supposed to look there's also a little bit of additional work that you'll have to do after you set up your code in here you still need to go to general settings because on the front end of your server there are a few settings that will override the settings that you have set in expert mode so we're just going to scroll down you want to click this to enable the gameplay log and you just want to copy the settings that i'm going to show you now so we'll enable the admin log here and we'll also activate admin tribe logs you generally want to prevent survivor and item dino downloads if your server is not clustered as if you do not prevent this then people will be able to download their items survivors and dinos from single player and that will be very very unbalanced so i would suggest you do not uncheck i mean you do not check the prevent survivor upload so people can still transfer out of your server and then you don't want to touch any of this or that you can allow, allow flying inside inside caves i generally do that and then override official difficulty on all my codes the override official difficulty is 12 so you want to enter this here as well if you do not do this then your dino levels will not change on your server because whatever's here will override what's in your settings so make sure that you change this to 12. now scrolling down you want to click here to add the floating damage text you do not want to disable imprint dino buff you want to allow anyone baby imprint cuddle and then you want to uncheck this override structure platform prevention enable extra structure prevention volumes you want to uncheck this you want to check non-permanent diseases you want to uncheck prevent diseases uncheck prevent tribe alliances allow raid dino feed in allow hit markers fast decay uncapped score 
core structures you want to tick all of these and tick tribe log destroyed enemy structures force fire flyer explosives i untick that tick destroy unconnected water pipes allow create spawns on top of structures tick that tick these tick these tick these just pause the video and you can tick all of these don't tick this uh tick the prevent spawn animation but if you want to choose to not have that on then that's your choice and then the rest of these are unticked and you also want to you know not tick these if you don't want a pve server so then you just want to save changes and then you can i suggest you wait 10 minutes and then you can restart your server so there we have it your server is all set up you have your 100 times rates 50 times rates whatever types of rates you wanted you've downloaded the code you've got it up on your server all you need to do is save the changes wait 10 minutes to restart your server and then you, bob's your uncle you got your server set up so i hope this video helped you out if you've got any questions or other tutorials you want me to make please leave that in the comment section down below Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next Ark Survival Evolved PS4 server tutorial. If you want to get more players, grow your community and manage your community all in one place, then go to arcps4servers.com and add your server today. We also have downloadable game ini files and a server setup service so you can get your server up and running in minutes instead of hours. Build your community today. Go to arcps4servers.com. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you.